Welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha and I am a new homeschooling mom of four kiddos. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys what my kids' morning schedule looks like um, as far as their morning routine and their chores. And so this is something that I made last um, at the end of last school year after I pulled my kids out of public school. And this is something that we implemented um, right away just to give us some um, um, routine and a little bit of structure to our mornings um, because at first we were all having a really hard time getting going with our days. Um, so I implemented these things for my kiddos and myself and it seemed to work really well um, because we haven't done a full homeschool year yet. Um, this will be our first full homeschool year. If things aren't working out how they should, I will um, make changes to what we are doing in the mornings to either make it more efficient or quicker or um, change out some of the things that we're doing. So without further ado, I will go ahead and show you guys what we have been using. Um, it's very simple, very easy, and not really hard to implement at all. So first I can talk about um, this here. This is just a schedule that I made up in Microsoft Word. It is nothing fancy at all. Um, I just hang it onto the side of our refrigerator so that my kids can check it and know what they have each morning. And I actually have one of these on the refrigerator as well for each one of my kids. I originally purchased it with only my five-year-old in mind. However, I know whenever I put it up for her, my other kids are really interested in it. And I'm not sure about your kids, but my kids like being able to either move something down or check something off to um, show progress and completion. And so I went ahead and made one of these up for all of my kids. I will just show you hers because since she isn't able to quite read what her schedule is, um, I kind of match it up with pictures here each morning so that she can um, just see the picture and move it down. And then my kids kind of just use theirs to feel rewarded. I, for the most part, they the, the two big kids just use it for as a check off reward system, I guess. Um, so starting off with the morning routine, every morning I have this group of items here and then um, kind of the same at night I have another group of items down here and these are just the things that my kids should automatically do without me having to say a word to them. Um, and so I, it just says daily morning routine, make bed, get dressed, tidy room, brush teeth, tidy up their bathroom and then go to the kitchen table for breakfast. And so that is the morning, and I know we're talking morning routine and not night routine, but since it's here on my schedule, I'll go ahead and tell you what their um, daily afternoon evening routine. And that's take up any laundry and put it away, take a shower, tidy rooms, head to bathrooms, brush teeth, bedtime. Um, and so these are just the things that they should automatically be doing every morning and every night. Um, it happens for the most part, like I said, should be doing automatically, but um, just like with any other kids, my kids need gentle reminders sometimes here and there to make your bed. And I don't know if you guys have heard of Betty's, but my kids, one of the biggest issues that I had for a really long time in their morning routine was bed making. And so my husband and I had a discussion and we decided to purchase all three of my kids' Bettys. And they're basically, it's basic, and it's basically a full bedding. So you, it's like, has the sheet attached to it, but it zips on both sides and around the bottom. So to fix their bed, they literally just have to zip it up. And um, it's taken away a lot of the fights or headaches of making beds. However, there is some days where um, I do still have to remind my kids like, zip up your bed. So if you guys haven't seen Betty's yet, I highly suggest checking them out. If bed making is a hassle in your household that you just don't want to deal with anymore, it's, a, I mean, it's a great. And so then um, here in the blue is every day of the week. So we do, we do chores seven days a week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And for the most part, their chores on Saturday and Sunday are just 
small things that they'll do both days and sometimes they may not even need, need to be done. Um, so I'll go through each kid and let you know what their chores are and what their age is um, so you can get an idea of the responsibility that my kids have. So my oldest, his chores are on Mondays to wipe the downstairs baseboards and put dishes away and take out the trash. Tuesday, clean up the living room, clean up his bathtub and his restroom, put dishes away, trash, and then he takes his laundry to the laundry room for me to wash. Um, Wednesday, he wipes the upstairs baseboards, put dishes away and trash. Thursday, clean up living room, vacuum his bedroom, put dishes away, trash. Friday, clean windows, um, put dishes away and trash. And then on Saturday and Sunday, he is my watering the plant guy, if that needs to be done, and he put dishes away and trash. And so his main job is just to check the dishwasher every morning if my husband is the one who loads the dishes at night and then my son puts them away the next morning. So that's his job every single day. And then same with the trash. He just checks the trash to see if it needs to be done. If there's trash that needs to be taken out in the morning, he takes it out. If if there wasn't any that morning, then my husband takes it out at night. And so then my second, oh, and he's 10. He'll be 11 in November. And so then my daughter, who's eight, her, um, her constant, so like my son has the dishes and trash as a constant. So her constant throughout the week is to wipe the table and sweep around the breakfast table. So she does that Monday through Friday. And so um, on Monday, she also wipes the stair handrails, waters plants. Tuesday, she vacuums the loft and the bedrooms. So my two girls used to share a bedroom up there. I just haven't updated this, but now their bedroom's downstairs. So now she's um, she will vacuum the loft and their downstairs bedroom. And then again, on Tuesday, take her laundry to the laundry room for me to wash. And then on Wednesday, clean up tables, sweep before and after breakfast. And then she wipes the counters and she takes, her, she takes out our recycle on Wednesday mornings. And then on Thursday, again, she vacuums the loft, wipes the upper cabinets and her and her sister's bathroom downstairs. So my son shares a bathroom with the two year old, which isn't up there yet. So he just has his own restroom for now. And then my daughters share their own bathroom here downstairs. And then on Friday, she cleans it um, again with the table and sweeping. And then she also wipes the counters again. And so on, um, for my now six year old, she is responsible for, and when I say clean up, she's basically just gathering whatever has been left by the toddler <laughs> off of the floor. So on Monday, she's cleaning up the living room and wiping down the sink to the downstairs bathroom. And then um, on Tuesday, she wipes the cabinets. So all of our cabinets that are on her level in the kitchen, she'll wipe those down. And she takes her laundry to the laundry room. On Wednesday, she again cleans up the living room and also the mudroom. And so all she has to do in the mudroom is just if there's shoes that are scattered out, usually from the two-year-old or the toddler, um, she'll clean up those shoes and then whatever trash has been left over there. And then same with the living room. The living room is usually her just picking up his toys, folding a blanket and going around and picking up anything that's been left out. So she hardly usually has anything to do because that's also something that I am constantly doing is picking up after everyone because I can't stand to have um, clutter. So when it is her turn to do the job, there's not much because I pick up as I go for the most part. And then so on Thursday, she wipes the living room tables. We have three, two end tables and one coffee table and she waters the plants. And then on Friday, again, she cleans up the living room and then she goes around the house and wipes the doorknobs. And then on Saturday and Sunday, um, she helps me organize toys and diapers, which honestly, we forget to do that most, most Sundays, most weekends. Um, and so then I also have myself scheduled down here. Um, I thought that it was only fair that my kids see that even though they see me picking up things throughout the day that they see that I'm also holding, my, holding myself responsible on this schedule. Um, you won't find my husband's name because he does work outside the home, currently working from home, but like I said, he does the dishes every night um, and on the nights where we have trash that needs to be taken out, he does that.
And so most days my chores consist of laundry. So <laughs> that's literally like three days out of all of them. So Monday laundry, I clean the whole kitchen. Um, and for laundry, that's my la mine and my husband's laundry. And so then on Tuesday, I do the kids' laundry. That's why they're all taking it to the laundry room on Tuesday mornings. So I do kids' laundry, and then again, I clean the whole kitchen. Um, and then on Wednesday, I take a break from laundry, and I get all of the floors clean in the house, and then again, cleaning the kitchen. Um, and so then on Thursdays, I clean our guest and master, I deep clean our guest and master bathroom, and then again, cleaning the kitchen. So. I am responsible for keeping the kitchen clean other than the days that my daughter's wiping down the counters that's just something that I do constantly throughout the day so I just put it here on the schedule and then on Friday I do um, laundry again this time towels and linens and again cleaning the kitchen and then on over the weekend so I don't do it Saturday and Sunday I kind of choose a day um, usually it's Saturdays whenever we are actually going to church but since we're still doing church at home um, I just pick a day and so this is where I um, I clean the bathrooms again and then I do all of the floors so that is our chore schedule so this is for all three of my big kids and myself lots and lots of kitchen cleaning and laundry for me and floors and then theirs are kind of jobs that um, are easy for them to do they can go and do it without needing any help from me so a lot of times they're taking care of their chores while I am making breakfast and so I used to have it and that's why it says here um, go to breakfast table originally what I used to do was I would they would start their morning routine and I would wipe up the kitchen and do what I needed to do and then immediately start fixing breakfast or start making breakfast so that once they were done with their morning routine then they could come and eat breakfast but what we have found um through the last you know throughout the last few I think it's eight months now is that my kids aren't hungry right away and um they kind of would just not sit down and like eat right and things like that so what we started doing was doing our morning routine and our chores and so while they do their chores I cook and that gives them a little bit more time from the time that they woke up until the time that they're eating um, because they didn't really like waking up morning routine eating chores so now it's kind of like wake up morning routine chores and then they eat and that and there that just seems to do like that just seems better for how their bodies are, um, how their hunger is working, and also it help, it's better for me too because I am um, not a huge breakfast eater, so pushing it off a little bit kind of helps me out to also eat later. But also, it's been really nice that way because I feel like I mean, I'm now able to work out first thing in the morning because um, my kids, I get up before them, and I work out but a lot of times I'm still finishing my workout by the time they're in their morning routine and so that gives me time while they're doing their chores to start making their breakfast and then they eat so that part has worked out a lot nicer so I wake up at about I try to wake up at about 6 30 so it's between 6 30 and 6 45 I start getting my workout in my kids work out or <laughs> My kids wake up at 7.30 and so I usually am either done or I have about 10 minutes left to um, my workout when they, wake, when, when they are waking up at 7.30. And so from there, after they wake up, they, I give them a long time actually. I give them 30 minutes to like wake up, let their body move and get their morning routine done before they have to go and start their chores. And so at eight o'clock, they usually, around eight o'clock, usually they're starting their chores and I'm starting to cook so that they can eat starting at 8.30. And then about 8.30 to nine is them um, having breakfast. And so that's all estimation and in a perfect world, it would be 6.30, 7.30, 8, 8.39, but it's not. <laughs> Um, so we try to stick to about that schedule because it seems to work for us in getting everything done and no one feeling stressed out. Um, 
but also moving along with our day so that no one has idle hands. So that is our chore schedule and I will go ahead and show you really quickly um, what my daughter's responsibility chart looks like. And so for her, um, I put a lot of her morning routine up here. So it says make bed, get dressed, brush teeth, help someone, um, sweep, eat breakfast. And um, the help someone is because her and her sister share a bathroom, on their um, morning routine part, she wouldn't help her sister out in cleaning the bathroom or tidying up their bedroom. So I added the help here because if she knows she's being helpful, then she'll do it. So she knows when she sees that on her schedule, she needs to make sure that she has helped her sister in tidying up their bathroom and their bedroom for the day. And so um, this is really nice. And I can link, I got this on Etsy. Like it's so easy to make your own and I totally could have done that. Um, but sometimes paying someone who already has created something so good is just easier. So I will link below where I got it from um, on Etsy. But this is really nice because it has space here for um, her morning, her afternoon, and then evening. And so I already went over morning. So like her afternoon would say, and um, it'll say schoolwork, snack time, outdoors, quiet time, eat lunch, screen time. And then in the evening, pick up toys, eat dinner, clean table, shower, pajamas, and prayers. And so I kind of, like this isn't actually what is on her schedule because I just put squares on here to show you guys. Um, but most mornings I, because you can get like all of these little extra squares or responsibilities um, from the website that I will link below. It's really easy to just match it up with her items here and so for the morning time that's what I'll do. Her afternoon and evening um, are always these and so on my other two, on my oldest two's um, charts like this, their morning is kind of generic because again, they don't need it. But however, I do keep their afternoon and evening squares pretty accurate because I don't have um, another one of these for their afternoon or evening. But I am hoping to get a planner soon and plan out their, um, plan and schedule out their school routine so that I can, um, get that printed out for them on hopefully a schedule similar to this so that they can just also have access to that really easily so that they know more of what to expect in the afternoon. And so there you have it guys. That is our morning routine and chore schedule. I hope this gave you guys some good ideas on what your kids similar age to mine um, could be doing for their own chores to help them feel more responsible because I know when my kids do their responsibilities, they feel so incredibly helpful that they um, were able to help out the household in such a way. So um, if you guys like this video, please like it and subscribe. I would love to have you here as a part of my community and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.